Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I am a 20 year Yorkshire Terrier owner. I have three Yorkies, Lola, Poppy, and Alfie. And today I'm here to talk to you about the best Yorkie food 2020. So a really popular question that I am asked all the time on YouTube is what do you feed your Yorkies? Now, one thing to know is that this has changed so much over the years. So when I first got my Yorkie, I think I fed whatever dry food I could find at the supermarket or, you know, at the local, I think I went to like some kind of an agricultural place and I got food. But the more that I learned about Yorkies and also the more that I was dealing with my older Yorkie, whose name was Teddy, and he was sick with an autoimmune disease, I had to start really thinking about things from a health perspective and realizing that every little thing that I did for Teddy could help to make him stronger and healthier and that I couldn't just feed him any food. It had to be the absolute best food for him. So I did a lot of research on the internet and I found a really fantastic website. So it is called The Truth About Pet Food. And the woman that writes about this does a lot of very deep research into pet foods. And I found out a lot from this website. So one of the things that I found out is that many pet foods are made with feed grade instead of human grade food. Now, feed grade is actually something that you would not want to eat yourself. So for feed grade products, they can actually use dead animals, like animals that were already dead before they used them for food, and also diseased animals. You can imagine that if you're going to feed your dog an animal that perhaps died of a disease or was diseased, that could cause problems and inflammation for your dog. So one of the things that I learned from her website is that you absolutely need to feed your dog a food that is made from human grade ingredients. You really want, or rather <laughs> food grade ingredients, but things that you could eat yourself if you needed to, and you know you're not going to be wanting to eat dead or diseased animals. So I did a lot of research and the two different foods that I have fed to my Yorkies from this website have been Evermore Pet Food. And now the food that I use is just food for dogs. So this food is actually made at their factory and it is frozen and shipped out and I get it, put it in the freezer and then thaw it as I need it. It's completely balanced. It has everything that my dogs need to have. And I also feed them a rotating selection of foods so that they don't get used to just one food and they hopefully don't develop allergies to that food. Some of you may not know this, but a lot of Yorkshire Terriers are actually allergy prone, which can cause itching and inflammation. Inflammation is something that you don't want in dogs or humans because inflammation can later on cause illness and disease. So it's really important that you also rotate their foods so that they don't develop a food allergy to just one thing. Um, I believe that my dogs currently eat the fish version of just food for dogs. They eat the beef version and the lamb version. Another reason that I feed such high quality foods is that Lola had pancreatitis um, and she obviously still has it. I don't think it's something that really goes away. But when I was feeding her a dry kibble, it was actually setting off her pancreatitis and irritating it. And I had read a lot of articles that said that if I was to home cook food for her, the chances of her having pancreatitis attacks were actually much smaller. Now it's important to note that you must be feeding them something that follows the pancreatitis guidelines. So it doesn't mean you should just home cook anything and give it to your dog and it will be fine. It has to be low fat. Um, another, another trick that I learned is that if you slightly heat the food before you feed it to your dog that could suffer from pancreatitis, it helps to stave off any kind of pancreatitis attacks. So I feed her three small meals a day. I heat the food and I also use food which is not feed grade, it is food grade. I know that this is a lot of information about food, but I really would suggest that you go to the website, which is called The Truth About Pet Foods, and you do a little bit of research for yourself. 
you know, many years ago, I didn't realize how important wellness for dogs was. And I've always been into wellness for myself and eating organic foods whenever possible and things like that. Um, I, so most people watch my videos to learn about Yorkies, but I am also a beauty and wellness expert for humans. Um, I'm 44 years old. I've been in the beauty business for 20 years. And the biggest thing that I have learned is that it's truly about taking care of yourself from the inside and that all of that comes out in beauty and in health and in longevity. Um, and the same thing applies to dogs. So I hope that this information was helpful to you about foods. A lot of people have been asking me questions about the particular foods that they use. And I would encourage you to go to that website and to research the foods and see what you think for yourself. I truly think that if she does not have a food listed on that site, I would not use it. I went to the site again because we are getting a Siberian kitten and I wanted to make sure that he would also get the best quality food for him. So if you are enjoying my channel, I would love it if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel for my newest videos. Please let me know any videos that you're interested in seeing. And also, I'm so curious, what are you feeding your dog now? Would you think about feeding it something different? Do you choose food based on price or based on health or both? I really look forward to hearing from you guys and I will talk to you soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.